Mr. President, distinguished members of the Human Rights Council, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity to address the Human Rights Council by video. This statement is made on behalf of the Australian Human Rights Commission, Australia's A-status national human rights institution. Following Australia's UPR appearance in 2011, the Commission committed to publishing an annual report on the status of implementa implementation of the UPR recommendations, and a report was duly published in December last year. We commend a number of achievements over the last year, in particular the release of Australia's National Action Plan, outlining how the Australian Government will implement the commitments it made uh, during its UPR uh, process. Other important advances have been made in relation to disability rights, the rights of children and the development of an anti-racism strategy. While the Australian Government has made commendable strides against some of the recommendations, in other areas progress has been slow and significant gaps in human rights protection remain. The Commission has expressed con continuing concern at the situation and treatment of refugees and asylum seekers in Australia, particularly the use of mandatory immigration detention, including of large numbers of children, and the transfer of asylum seekers, also including children, to third countries for processing. The Commission has also expressed concern at the lack of progress in implementing the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples at the uh, domestic Australian level. The Australian Human Rights Commission is committed to strengthening the protection and promotion of human rights in Australia and we all look forward to working with the Australian Government in implementing the commitments that it has made in the UPR process. Thank you.